Hi guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. Uh, the video today is an update to the uh, the painting chalice or the, the new miniature painting handle that I'm designing and getting ready to produce. So I had quite a lot of really good feedback from my last video and I've taken into account quite a few things now and I made some uh, significant changes not to the overall how the painting handle works but just more in the design um, and the usability of it so the first thing I've done now is I've decided that rather than making a whole section of different chalices for different sizes I have designed um, a central column now which will allow both size cradles or chalices, whatever you want to call, to just slot in and be interchangeable. So they're, they're pretty good, they're pretty solid and the chalice I've also, I've thinned all the struts and uh, all the sort of columns and things right down so it's now a lot lighter. It's still fairly firm which is good. Um, but this will now be a lot lighter to hold. You know, if you're someone who's got wrist problems or don't like holding heavy things, we'll, this will be a much better design, I believe. It's 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 a a lot thinner and smaller than the old design. The size is pretty much the same. I've just redesigned this joint bit. Not got this big heavy bit around the bottom now which makes it a lot lighter. Um, and like I said, one of, the, one of the things that I've tried to develop is that it's now interchangeable with the smaller handle or the smaller chalice. So this now, I've developed this size one now, which is for up to sort of, up to sort of 40 millimeter miniatures. Uh, this is this would be your perfect size for sort of the majority of Warhammer um, and 32 mil scale. So the other thing I did, as far as changes, was the central column. Now, I wanted to produce different two different size heads, and I want to produce these in a way so that these can be bought fairly cheaply and interchangeable if you want to do bulk painting. Now what I will do is I'll develop you know, a, um, a holder where these can sit. So you could have five of these sitting in a row and you could pick each one up and put it on, put it into the central column and then put your base on and you can work. So then it would be as easy as literally swapping out and then you get your next one and just slide it in. So the, I think this will be a nice method for uh, those of you out there who want to do bulk painting. Um, th this could be a way, you, you could buy many of these separately and these could you know, definitely be an, a use, useful addition if you want to do painting multi, multiple amounts of models. So this is the smaller size um, cap and I've just showed you that the bigger size cap also fits in here quite comfortably. So what I'm going to show you now is this is the, the size that you would have roughly now that I've, I've broken my necron um, but this is the size you would have around, this is a, a blade guard I believe from your Indominus set, uh, which is a fairly large miniature. You know, I would say he's quite chunky, quite large. And as you can see, I, I can paint him comfortably within the chalice, I can hold him, move around and get to every part still like I could with the previous one. So I think for certainly for Warhammer miniatures I think this is going to be a really nice size so I, I'm, I'm pleased with that very pleased 
what we do is we'll take that out and then we'll show you the size difference with the larger cradle now this larger cradle I'm, I'm very much designing it in size terms in terms of 75 roughly 75 millimeter miniatures which is usually around the standard for display pieces um, this miniature I have in there at the moment is exactly 75 millimeters obviously I can lower this down I could put the smaller cap in if I wanted I did I've got a lot of putty in there <laughs> it's, it's overkill but you could get this sitting flat on the base but it's also it's the sort of size where I can still rest comfortably on the side I can paint from every angle here get around the model um, so I, I think this is a pretty pretty roughly the, the size that they're gonna be for the larger display size models or for your larger Warhammer models um, so that's the update guys um, I'll keep you posted on what's coming where I'm going and more importantly when I'm going to get this to a Kickstarter there's still a couple of little things I'm tweaking and looking at but hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer um, thanks for watching this video if you can give me a like a thumbs up a subscribe whatever and put anything that you think in the in the comments below any more suggestions anything you like anything you don't like please feel free to comment I'll answer every comment Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.